father to instill fear. He would bring the pregnant women or herd the pregnant women like cattle into a central courtyard or a central place. The white man would then secure one of the pregnant women to a tree or some other secure place where she couldn't escape. He would then take a knife or a sword and he would cut the woman from her breastbone all the way down through her pregnant stomach till he reached the vaginal bone, causing the unborn child to fall out, spill out onto the ground. The white slave master would get all of the overseers to force all of the other pregnant women to watch. They were not allowed to turn away and shield their eyes from the horror before them. They had to watch. And then the slave master would take his boot and he would stamp the head of that baby into the ground. This was systematic terror being fed through the eyes going into the brain of those women. The brain would then create and form adrenaline fear that would permeate every fiber of that woman's being including her unborn child. So they knew exactly what they were doing. And so babies, African babies, black people would be born afraid, not knowing why, based on what was done to their mothers. The horror of what they witnessed through their eyes would produce little frightened babies who were then ideal for further after the first generation of africans brought those babies onto the planet those men and women who were the fathers and mothers they were killed they were killed in order that the mother could not teach the baby the mother's tongue 